If we look in here, you can see that you have my face inside the eye. Hello and welcome to The Soundtest Room. My name is Jokob Hack, I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how I created this using Pixlr. Pixlr is a photo editor app. I love that app. I've used it so much and I create little pictures, square pictures like this all the time when I have some free time or between musical projects. So if you found this channel because you're interested in photo editors for iOS, then I can tell you that I'm a mobile musician and iDevices like iPad and iPhone are central in my music making processes. But this is going to be about graphics. The way I did this is quite straightforward and very very simple. Pixlr has got some really useful tools. I basically used this picture as a source for making the whole thing there. And if you take a look at this picture again, if we look in here you can see that you have my face inside the eye and that's why I look kind of androidy with that eye there. I think it looks pretty cool and it's very simple to make. So let's start from the beginning. I'm gonna go and choose that snapshot I made from an episode called Advice for Beginners Buying Apps and it's basically a guide for people who might be new to the iOS music platform and wants to start making music using their iPads and iPhones. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that this is black and white. Now there are many ways of making black and white pictures but in Pixlr I simply go to this tab right down here choose adjustments and then I go to saturation. So to show you what saturation actually does, I'll just pull this up and you can see it enhances the colors already in there. Now if I pull it down, it's gonna go black and white, but to my eyes, it's a bit too much blue or green-ish tints in there. So I'm gonna leave this one at 80. If you check up here, you can see that you get a number when pulling. So around 80. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is make the picture a bit brighter. And I'm going to do that by adjusting the exposure. So let's up the exposure to 20 and it becomes bright. Next thing I'll do is go to contrast and up it to about 15, like that. I'm doing really mild and minor adjustments right now. And I probably went a little bit overboard with the album art I showed you in the beginning. Now you can bypass all of the things you've done in here and see what the original looked like by pressing this icon up here. So that's the original and that's what we've done to it. Now you've got two options. You can either move on with the settings you've already made or if you change your mind, you could just press the X button right there. I'm gonna choose OK. And what I'm going to do now is press done and save because we need that picture in this state to make that cool eye you saw in the album art picture that I showed you. The next thing I'm going to do is load up a black picture, completely black. It's a one by one square. And now I'm going to add my face to the right side here. To do that, we press this icon and we go to double exposure, tap to add photo, go into the camera roll and choose that photo we just fixed. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just enlarge it like this, but I'm not really satisfied with the angle and you can change the angle by pulling this slider here. That looks more like it, but you can see that I've got a hand here and I wanna remove that. There's also some stuff in the hair that I wanna remove. So to do that, if you look up there, you have an eraser function. If we press that, I'm gonna press the eraser just to show you. Then I'm gonna press the feathering. The feathering dulls the edges, but I want it to be strong. So I'm gonna pull down on the feathering and I'm just gonna up the size a little bit. And then I'm gonna start removing the hand like this. But this function is a bit weird. You're working in a layer right now and what you're doing is painting with a transparency color. Now that sounds weird. I'll just show you. I'll press okay up here and then I'll move this picture and you'll see my hand pop up there. So we've just painted some transparency over this area of the picture. Keep that in mind. I'll move this back now and keep painting away all the things that I don't want. Now, when I'm done with this, I'm gonna press the okay button up there and then I'm gonna press the okay button right there. And what we need to do now to get that cool eye look that we had in the album art picture is to add my face into there. And we're gonna focus on the blend modes. Press this icon right here. Then I'm gonna choose double exposure, tap to add photo, camera roll, and choose the same picture again. I'm gonna make this smaller. 
and fit it into the eye like this. And down here you have blend modes and you can see what happens when you cycle through these blend modes. It will blend the picture with the background in different ways. What we're gonna choose is the screen one. I still have a hand there and this is where it gets weird because what I want to do naturally is to make it larger, paint away the hand with the eraser transparency tool there. But if I do that and then minimize the picture, then that area where I painted is going to stay right there and the hand is going to be visible as soon as I make it smaller. So I actually have to paint in this small area, a bit smaller and move it right there. And now we're going to remove that hand thing right there. So make the size just a little bit smaller. The feathering, we're gonna pull it down so we make it sharp. And now I'm gonna paint away my hand. Just like that. Press the OK button and OK right there. And there you go. We can now continue processing this, but you know, I'll leave it up to you to experiment with your own faces and eye faces, face eyes. Uh, don't forget to press done up here and save your image when you've got something you like. So go experiment with Pixlr, check it out, it's definitely a very very useful app. You've got loads of other stuff that you can do in here, like the overlay section, that looks pretty cool. When doing so, you can actually use the same eraser to remove stuff if you want. There's a lot you can do with Pixlr and I suggest you go check it out. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney, and me, Jakob Hackett, soundtrustroom.com, wishes you a very productive week. Now, go finger your surfaces and have a lot of fun doing it.